So as you can see now, I have already a very kick-ass red going on on this Goffrey Lercello. Um, but my brother, uh, Jose Cateria, showed me this, told me about this trick of applying oil varnish with a foam roller, and I thought, what? That is crazy, right? So basically, this is what it is. It's, it's, it's very soft. These cost 80 cents. So you should be able to do the scroll as well with it. I've tested it on an old uh, junk violin, and it seems to be very smooth. So, is it going to gag? Yeah, good. So, um, I'm gonna try this uh, for the first time. I haven't, I've never tried it, never tried it before. So, um, what I've got is the already, I've already mixed this in the duck to the consistency that I want <clears throat> using magnesium oxide transparent brown and Van Dyke brown. Just any Van Dyke brown will work. So a tiny bit of pigment because it's already red and then a secative, which is a dryer, a cobalt dryer. Uh, you don't want to drink this, you'll be dead. So let's try it. I think it looks really amazing on the violin. So, um, and the thing with the brush is that it, it requires a great deal of practice and skill to, to have to get even amounts on the brush as you're going all the way, especially on a large instrument. So what Jose told me that it's that it was like a difference between, you know, 10, 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes and two hours, because it takes a long time to varnish a cello. Not two hours, but. Okay, so I'm just basically putting it on a piece of glass. Yeah. This may be a little thick, let's see. No, that's good. So let's try this for the first time. I mean, this foam sucks up a lot. I can see it's like just sucking it up at first. Whoa. Yeah, so it, it looks to me like this is going to work. Oh, and the edges are a dream to varnish with this. Okay, so there's an uneven part that I just did. Because I had, um, I didn't put it on the, roll it on the glass enough, but now it's, it's smoothing out. This looks good, actually. This looks really good. Wow, okay. So yeah, that's probably about five times faster than a brush. The question will be whether or not this texture kind of settles, because a lot of times with the brush you get this kind of orange peel effect when you, when you put a lot of varnish, you know. Oh yeah, that is a dream. <laughs> this is insane, actually. It just, it makes it very easy to apply evenly, and you know, you don't have to worry about drips on the F-holes. It's actually quite amazing. Just go over these parts that I did. I have to say this is damn amazing. It, it, Jose called me, he said, I have to talk to you, I have to show you something. And I was like, what? How urgent could it be, you know?
Wow, okay. Yeah, so that is a nice red. This quite possibly could be the best red I've ever done. Because, I mean, the surface does not look completely convincing. Like, you know, the antiquing, you can tell, but there's just too many scars, I think, on this instrument. So it's not believable, but it certainly looks cool, you know. Um, <laughs> you can hear the cello responding to the um, roller. Okay, so that looks really good. I mean, the, the, the color is perfectly even. You know, if you put too much a blob of varnish with the brush and that's very easy for that to happen, then you just never get rid of it and it, it'll be a, you know, it looks terrible. But that is really even. So that's the trick. <laughs> uh, I've run out. So this technique, it actually puts it on pretty thick. This, this thing just soaks up that whole uh, puddle that I added. Now there is some texture when you look at the light, but it, it looks like it sort of settles with time, like it's kind of, I should probably lay it down, you know? <laughs> but yeah, no drips. I missed a spot here. Yeah, so that's the trick for today. And that is a really good trick, I have to say. And Jose was saying, this is, you're never going to use a brush again. Um, I have to test it on the scroll. I think it will work on the scroll because it worked on a violin scroll. So. Okay, roll away. Okay, so it is now five days later after the application and I can now say unequivocally and with all certainty that this works really well. Um, if you look at the surface, it's perfectly even. There are no um, crazy spots where the brush um, added too much varnish. Um, uh, and it took five days to dry because um, it's been sort of a not so much sun uh, week here in uh, Galicia, which is in, in, on the, at the very uh, nor northwest tip of Spain where there is a lot of rain in the winter. So um, I want to point out the disadvantage of using this method is that this thing really sucks a lot of varnish. So what happened is, um, and this is good, it's fine for this cello, is that it puts on a very even but thick layer. So um, another thing is the viscosity of it, the thickness you're going to have to police. I went on really thick and that was fine because this red is the best red that I think I've ever gotten. I'm just really pleased with it. It's it's a kind of golden dark brown sort of rust, which is of course magnesium oxide. Oh, here comes the sun. Puta sol. Uh, which doesn't matter right now. This is dry and I'm about to rub out. So unless you're you need to be very confident that the color that you want to do, that's what you're using. If you're not certain that this is going to work, uh, then you want to do some tests and be careful because it puts on a very thick layer of varnish due to the fact that this just really sucks. Um, but I am very, very pleased with it. I cannot say that I would almost never use a brush again because this is twice as fast and it does um, a much more even application. So, so there you are. That's the verdict on it. Um, 
What else? Yeah, it just, it, uh, this is gonna be, here comes the sun. This will be a dream to photograph. It will be so easy to photograph because it is just glowing with light due to the, the, the successful ground that I did. Um, so there you have it. There is the applying oil varnish with a roller. Um, I, I have to say, I most of the time I don't, I'm willing to take crazy experiments um, and do and do risks because you know, I can always remove this. I mean, it's a pain in the butt, but and a big waste of money. Um, but you can always remove. That's the good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm very pleased. Now, you want to be careful when you're choosing your rollers. These are just velvet soft. There's almost no, um, there's almost no surface, you know. I, you wouldn't want to use a roller that's going to, that's going to leave any, um, you know, texture. Um, a lot of times when you're using a brush, you get this sort of orange peel effect that, that you know, the surface, the sort of glossy surface is uneven, and that's cool. Um, but if you're after a straight varnish, um, I, I will note that in the beginning, you could see a texture from this, but that sort of just naturally settled, I guess, as the varnish sort of evened out on its own. Um, what else? That's about it. Yeah, so for your information, you can apply oil varnish with a roller. I mean, I'm at truly flat, flabbergasted, so... Uh, sneak preview of the next cello coming and that's all so roll away